Hey, what is up everyone? Welcome to the channel. If you're new, be sure to subscribe. We're going to be talking about Jing, uh, since he's the next one to be releasing. Um, now, forewarn, I would recommend if you're free to play to maybe skip this guy, because he does seem like he's going to require his cone to be really relevant. Without his cone, I don't know how good he's going to be, because his cone is ridiculous and does seem like it's going to bring a lot of his power up now if he functions fine without it that's awesome he's a electro damage dealer um but i think if you already are building serval you probably can skip this guy without feeling too bad and get the next unit to come which should be silver wolf who might be better in the long run for your account as a quantum support debuff styled units so let's talk about the banner. We have March 7 on here. We have this physical unit um, that she's pretty good. And then we have this other unit. Like the four stars are solid. Like the four stars do bring up a value to this, um, like of this banner. If you want to do a couple multis just to see if you can get lucky, you can pull some solid four stars. Um, now when it comes to his kits, we'll go to his kits. Uh, I read it over. It's, it's okay. I feel like his kit sounds relatively strong, but I don't think it's like crazy uh like uh i think there's gonna be other damage dealers in the future that can do what he does as his element but probably better uh i'm thinking kafka is going to be better overall i could be wrong maybe kefla isn't going to be a full-on damage dealer but i feel like since we got the player in the like prologue i could probably tell you she's going to be probably the same thing as this guy but uh also a lesser damage dealer so if you want the husbando get the husbando if you want the wife who wait for kefka Right. Um, having both on your account probably won't matter too much because ideally, uh, unless you're running uh, in the uh, memory with two electro damage dealers, I don't know where else you're going to use two electro damage dealers. Also, Serval is pretty solid, so it's okay to skip this guy where with like Sele, it was kind of like you needed a quantum character. And if you don't have a quantum character yet, I would still say skip this guy for Silver Wolf because she's a quantum damage dealing support of debuff unit like she's gonna be i think i think silver wolf's gonna be straight up the best unit in the game when she releases call it a hunch so i said this guy's silver cone is quite ridiculous so we're gonna talk about it um before dawn increases the wearer's crit damage by 36 percent uh or just yeah 36 percent increases the wearer's skill and ultimate damage by 18 percent after the wearer uses their skill or ultimate they gain uh somnus corp Plus, upon triggering a uh, follow-up attack, uh, Somnus Corpus will consume and follow up, and the follow-up attack damage will be increased by 48%. This is if you don't have any breakthroughs, obviously. So you see a lot of damage coming out of this thing, right? You're getting 36%, 18%, 48%. There's a lot of freaking damage that you're getting out of this cone. This cone is going to be carrying this unit quite ridiculously. Um... So that's something to take in consideration. His cone is ridiculous. Now, when it comes to his actual, like, kit, uh, for the most part, he's just a... He's an AoE damage dealer, like his skills AoE, his ultimate's AoE. He does have a single target attack, which is his basic attack. Um, overall, his kit is his his kit's just based on damage. He's just a damage-dealing unit. Not saying that's bad, not saying that's good. It's just saying that's all his plays. His role is damage. And he will perform damage quite well, especially if you get his cone on him, he'll do his job. Uh, but I feel like you have access to a already decent damaging unit that is also a Electro, which is her Val. She was given the free, and she can technically hold that spot down quite well. Is she better than this guy? No, I don't think it's close. But once again, you could either A, get this guy and miss out on your chance of getting a good Quantum character and struggles with Quantum if you didn't pull Sele. Or you can get this guy and not go for Kafka because they're going to be summering probably, um, you know, doing the same role. Once again, Husbando, Waifu, pick your options. I don't think you need both in your account right this time because you only need two teams. And honestly, Serval plus him can cover two teams on his own. Same thing with like Sele and uh, Silver Wolf. Sele and one team, Silver Wolf the other team. Two quantum characters, you're good to go, right? Um, so it is kind of up to you. Um, once again, he is just based off doing a lot of damage. Uh, so uh, his his base attack deals lightning damage equal to 50% of his attack to a single enemy. His uh, Rifting Zenith. Deals lightning damage to 50% of his attack to all enemies, increasing lightning lord's hit per action by 2 for the next turn. His ultimate, Lightbringer, 
deals da lightning damage equal to 120% of his damage uh, to all enemies and increasing lightning lords hit per action by three for the next turn. Now his passive or his talent or whatever they're calling this thing, um, pretty much it's going to, well, it does a lot actually. Um, so summons lightning lord at the start of battle. Lightning lord has a 60 speed or 60 base speed and three base hit per action. When Lightning Lord's attack uh, takes actions, its hits are considered as follow-up attacks. So he's follow-up attacking. Uh, follow-up attacks are the thing that uh, whenever you do your animation, you attack. If there's an additional attack to follow up, those will count as follow-up attacks. So if there's only like two units in the game that do it at the moment, he'll be the third one, I think. Um, with each hit, dealing de uh, lightning damage equal to 33% of the attack or his attack to a single enemy. The enemies adjacent to it also receive lightning damage equal to 25% of the damage dealt to the target enemy. Uh, the Lightning Lord's hit per action can reach a max of 10. Every time Lightning Lord's hit per action is increased by one, its speed is increased by 10. After Lightning Lord's action ends, its speed and hit per action returns to their base value. When Jing is knocked down, the Lightning Lord will disappear. When Jing is affected by crowd control, debuff the Lightning Lord is unable to take action. So whenever, you know, your main your character is disabled or, you know, um, killed, Lightning Lord will not be able to help you in any way. Right. Uh, we could talk about his, his, his dupes. But I feel like if you're here watching, you're not going for dupes, right? You could get lucky and pull a C1, so I guess we could talk about a C1, but anything past that's probably unrealistic, right? C, uh, Splash, C Split. When Lightning Lord attacks, the damage multiplier on enemies adjacent to the target will be increased by an extra amount equal to 25% of the damage multiplier against the target enemy. Pretty good. Nothing crazy. I, I think he's got an okay um, dupe one. It's, it's, it's okay. Overall... In a nutshell, I think this guy is good. I think this guy is going to be solid. Um, I don't think he's going to be, by any means, like the best unit in the game. He doesn't yell best unit in the game. I think that's going to go to, to Silver Wolf for a while, while because of how she functions as a character. Being a character that is able to do damage, able to debuff, able to do all these other different things with her, her kit, I do think Silver Wolf will be better for the long run. Now, is Silver Wolf a damage dealer? No. If you need a damage dealer, once again, you have access to a free one, Serval. I will keep bringing this around. Serval is still a good unit. Is she going to be good as the new fancy 5-star? Absolutely not. But if you need a quantum unit and you did not get Sele, I would recommend skipping and getting Silver Wolf. If you got Sele and you don't care about Silver Wolf and you don't care about Kafka, by all means, get this guy. If you want him, uh, he'll be fine. I think he'll be good. Just keep in mind that he might want to go for his cone, too. Uh, the reason why I didn't really mention, like, Sele's cone is because there's already a really good free-to-play one uh, that you can get from the simulated universe, and you can fully max it out by now. It's not hard. You get it, and you just do the simulated universe until you, every way until you max it out. And it's relatively very similar to her normal cone. Like, I think her normal cone might be better, but... This thing is very close to it because it's giving her crit, uh, her crit rate increase just like the other one does. And then she's also getting attack whenever she defeats an enemy. And with that being said, with how she functions, you get an extra turn, you get the kill. Like you can go with your uh, your go with your skill, kill something, pop your ultimate, get the 40% increase, and just pop off, right? So I feel like this is the one exception that I'll say, oh, this cone is the reason why I think Sele is okay to go for. Uh, if you have her, because you have a really good cone, where with uh, with the other guy, I don't know his free-to-play options, if I'm being honest, because uh, his is so ridiculous, I don't know if it can, if anything can compete with it, right? Yeah, I, I'm, I don't know. I don't know his best options. His is, good, his is just like a paragraph of damage where a lot of these are going to be missing that, so... It's up to you. At the end of the day, do what you want. I'm just here to try to give you the best advice that I can. Um, I'm thinking Silver Wolf is going to be a lot better in the long run. She's a quantum unit. He's a lightning unit. There's two different elements you have to take in factor, but you, you're going to need two quantum units. You're going to need two electric units. You're going to need two all these of all these units to do the memories because uh, later on you do need two teams to complete these memories. And whenever they introduce more simulated universes or whatever 
and just more content in general, I'm sure you're going to need two teams anyway, so keep that in mind. If you want him, get him. Cool. He's he's good. Uh, if you don't want him, great. Skip for your whatever character you want. I'm skipping for Silver Wolf. I think she's going to be a lot better in the long run, and also I think she's just a waifu, so that's just a bonus. If you want this husband, go for it. He'll be good. Just, you know, just keep your expectations at a um, at here. There are going to be people showcasing them uh, up here. But remember, they're whales. It's going to be a big difference between free-to-play and whales. Just keep that in mind. Um, I do think it'll be good for free-to-play. I just think him without his cone might be a little hard to utilize as well as him with his cone. I think that's the main thing is that his cone brings so much value. So thanks for watching. Hope you do have good luck in your summons if you summon. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Peace.